Hey you guys and welcome back to another video. My My name is Shanina and if you are new here welcome um, if you're a returning viewer welcome back so on this channel we talk about how to make money ways to save money and everything in between so in today's video I'm gonna just be breaking down my food um, I went to the grocery store earlier today and so if you guys have not seen that haul make sure you click the I card above and so you can check it out once you're done with this video so um, if you're new to the channel I sometimes do a pantry haul or pantry walkthrough and I recently did one with the freezer so I have a standard size freezer and it fills up pretty fast so I've got um, normally what I do with groceries well lately what I've been doing is kind of breaking down bulkier items so as you can see in here the only thing that I have is two whole chickens and some vegetables and then a um, bag of hash browns bread some leftover fries and tortillas and then over here um, we've got just some leftover peas there's hot dogs and bolognese bread that I just purchased and what was left over of the ice cream sandwiches so um, when I went to the grocery store I've been trying to do a week-to-week -week grocery haul but it looks like this month um, this particular grocery trip I did go last week but this particular grocery trip is going to actually take us a little bit past a week um, which is okay and I still need to go to the store tomorrow so for the majority of our meats this time around I want to go to a store called Wayfields which is located here and in, in Atlanta and they have really really good deals on meat so I do want to um, do that so um, everything that I buy may actually take us to the end of the month but these are the more uh, bulkier items so I'm gonna be breaking this stuff down um, we've got some sweet sausage so um, with the meal plan in the next coming week or so we're gonna have homemade pizza so I'm gonna break this down because I don't necessarily need five links but I don't want to open it and then you know it still be in there all in one freezer bag so I'm gonna portion it up I'm gonna take the one uh, well two because I'm gonna do pepperoni and sausage pizza so I'm gonna take two links out for that and then leave the um, other three maybe for spaghetti or I might actually break those up so I might do two in one small freezer bag and then one in a bag by itself um, for just in case you know I might want to put it in if we have spaghetti night or I might want to do some type of dish where it calls for ground pork and so that's how we'll do that so this may either be two or three uh, freezer bags and it'll be the small one so I'm just going to be using the small freezer storage bags from Kroger and the large ones the chicken breast same thing here this is going to be split in half so there's going to be three in one bag and then two in the other um, the one for two is going to be for chicken alfredo and then actually I might pull one out here as well and because we uh, I mentioned this in the last video we did uh, on the fly chicken chili with like three small chicken breasts that were in the pantry so or the freezer so I could just uh, one night do like some chicken rice tacos or something like that and mix it with Mexican rice or something or make a Mexican rice and maybe that'll be a dish by itself we'll have to see or maybe I'll leave all three and we'll do like a baked boneless chicken night since there's three of us so yeah I might do it like that so a boneless breast chicken night and chicken alfredo so that'll be two and then with the vegetables I've got two bell peppers here I need another one though because I need one that is going to be left in the fridge so that if the honey wants to use it for like eggs or something like that then he can but these two I'm going to cut up so I'll make sure I'll to grab one bell pepper while I'm at Wayfield tomorrow um, that'll be the only non-meat item that I get from there the vegetables I am going to cut up the two green peppers 
cut up the green onions and then mix these two yellow onions and this purple onions in with it and that'll all be one batch and what I normally do with those is like if I put chicken in the oven or like a roast in the crock pot or something like that it's already cut up and frozen it's really quick and easy to grab versus having to pull out an onion cutting it up and going through all that so just a, a quick uh thing here and with this pepperoni it's a big size so I'm just gonna split this in half because if I don't put one in, half of this in the freezer for later down the road it'll be gone Olivia loves pepperoni so I have to split this in half and so we'll use one half for pizza and whatever's left over from pizza she can use it for a lunchable because we do have crackers and cheese and then the other half will just be in the freezer until another time corn dogs this box is really bulky so I have to break that down and put that into freezer bags it'll be easy for Olivia to grab out with this hamburger I got the big roll because they didn't have the individual uh, frozen patties and those are normally like eight bucks for eight of them so this was fifteen dollars and what I plan to do with it is make hamburger patties. So I'm going to put this in a bowl, season it up, and make as many patties as I can with this roll. I'm going to just take the sausage out of the box, put it in a freezer bag, and the fruit I'm going to wash, um, clean it off, and put the blueberry in a Ziploc bag by itself because that'll be for smoothies. And um, and if Olivia wants to eat some, because she also eats them by themselves, so if she wants to eat some, then she can just take a few out of the bag, let it thaw out, and then she can eat them. And same thing for the strawberries. So these were on sale. These are two pounds, and they were on sale for $4. So I got two of them, and I'm just going to cut the tops off, wash them off really good, and put them all in the freezer. I'm going to put them in two separate Ziploc bags, though, um, instead of all in one, so that I'm able to roll it up and kind of stack it on each other. peppers, yellow onions, red onions, and green onions. And you can basically use this for a lot of stuff. Um, you could do it on baked chicken. Uh, you know, you put it on top of your meat while it's still frozen. And it mixes, I mean, it makes the meat taste really, really good. It makes it moist. So I use this when I'm making pork roast. Um, pork, I've even used it on baked pork chops. Um, pretty much any meat other than like a uh, fish I've used this on so it's quick go to you know when you don't feel like cutting up onions and peppers and stuff you just grab a cup of it or however much you need and put it in the dish that you're making and boom 
there it is so the next thing we are moving on to let me rinse my hands off here i'm gonna go ahead and rinse this off actually so got one hand on this so i'm just gonna basically rinse this off and put it in a freezer bag and this will go this goes a long ways uh, it can go you know on many meals so the next thing i'm going to get that in a freezer bag i'm going to set off a little bit more get that in a freezer bag and the next thing i'm going to move on to is the strawberries then i'm going to do the meat last but i'm going to start with this sausage since that's already it's pretty easy you could just stick it in a bag um split those up and work on my beef So it turned out that I was able to get 15 uh, single patties out of the, I think it was a three pound or a five pound. I have to look again. I'll put it on the screen. But this is what is left over of the ground beef. So that is actually going to create another meal. So this is for dinners and lunches. Um, so there's 15 burgers. There's three of us. Um, in the house and so this is going to end up being meatloaf um, I've got the sausage separated here so again one night it's going to be uh, this one's going to be for pizza which I'll probably do tomorrow and this will be for another dish or another meal maybe spaghetti or some type of pasta dish uh, we've got our chicken breast so I did three and two um, two for chicken alfredo and then three for uh, baked chicken baked boneless breast that'll be a dinner then we've got our sausage that was pretty easy I just slid it into a bag we've got four pounds of strawberries here so there's two pounds in each bag so this will stretch over the next couple of weeks I'm going to assume um, and so will this pepperoni which we've got half and half here and we've got all our blueberries in a ziplock bag and we've got our seasonings and which this will take us through uh, the month I believe and then we got our corn dogs in the refrigerator so this is basically how i go about stretching out my food to make it last if i bought a lot of uh bulky type items or if i bought items that i can kind of stretch uh, for example like this hamburger so thank you guys for checking me out and i'll see you guys on the next video <laughs> Perfect.